like I said, y'all, the wind is crazy, so I ain't gonna be out here too long, and I'm hoping that it's not picking too much uh, of the wind noise up, because, yo, look how gorgeous she look, man. What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy, Rob, and today we're in the shop, so, um, today, I ain't really got too much going down, man. Um, I'm gonna try to finish up uh, the tail light section of the Monte Carlo, um, but that's really not what this video is about. Um, I'm pretty much gonna just finish that up and then um, show you guys the end result. Uh, but today, I wanted to blow some dust off of the Impala. I haven't driven the Impala in probably about a good month and a half. You know what I'm saying? It's just been kind of sitting here. Um, because I've been 100% focusing on the Monte Carlo. If you guys have been following the channel, you know that I've been dropping video after video after video of the Monte Carlo. Um, now, I want to kind of take a break from that because I came out to start the Impala um, the other day, or yesterday. Yesterday, I came out to start the Impala, and it didn't start because the battery's dead. So, I have it on a battery tender right now. Um, I got it on a battery tender right now. Uh, it's probably been on there for about a day now. Um, so the car should start right up. I just want to take it around the block and do, uh, some things. I didn't, um, I didn't drive the Impala after I took it to, uh, try to get the alignment because the exhaust, uh, was hanging. Like, you know what I mean? After I drove it, but I put it up into the exhaust hanger in the back, which it should hold for a little bit. I'm not expecting it to hold for forever. You know what I'm saying? But we're about to address that. We're about to get all that taken care of. But I, I just wanted to blow some dust off of the Impala. I don't know if I'll get like uh, any footage outside the car, out of the garage, because it's really, really, really windy. And I know the sound quality is gonna be absolutely terrible. So um, let me go ahead and spin this camera around. Before we do that, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell notification. So you get a notification every time you drop another video. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, you guys, like I said, I'm trying to finish up the tail section of the Monte Carlo, I'm almost done. Um, I'll probably be getting it done today, depending on how warm it stays in the garage, cause we're supposed to get into like, you know what I'm saying? Like single digit uh, temperatures pretty soon uh, for the weekend. So I'm trying to get this done and knocked out as soon as I possibly can. I got everything wire loomed up. I got everything looking real nice, real good. I'm not concerned about like the dome light or the third brake light just yet. Uh, I just want to get the tail lights back in. I want it all together, get the tail lights back in, get the license plates done, um, or lights done, and everything else we could do um, next week when it warms back up a little bit. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about the Impala. Um, I wanted to drive the Elko um, because I need to get this thing out and moving in motion and stuff like that. But there's just so much that has to happen for me to even get this car out that I'm not really willing to do right now. So we'll save that for a later date. Um, once I get the Monte Carlo moving, uh, I'll pull this one out and put it over here. Uh, and then at that time, we'll drive the car. Um, I also did uh, replace the fuel pump. There was like a hairline crack. Uh, I'll throw up a picture. There was like a hair hairline crack that I made in the fuel pump. That's why the fuel pump was like spewing fuel um, and I couldn't get it started. So now I replaced the fuel pump. We're good to go. Everything up here is solid, waiting for me to um, finish up the tail light wiring and put the fuse box into the um, into its space. Take some all this stuff off. Take that uh, speedometer cable out, and she's good to go, y'all. So I got big plans for this. Uh, getting this done. This will be out this summer, um, and I'm going to start working on that motor. You know what I'm saying? I know I say that a lot, but you know what I'm saying. Things happen. Uh, and you know, this stuff just takes time, y'all. But anyways, man, like I said, I got this on the battery charger and I got the garages closed. I wish I would have had them open so I could show y'all a little bit more, but it's windy. I don't know if you guys can hear the garage is smacking. Um, but I'm gonna take this off the battery charger or tender, whatever. And we're gonna go ahead and start this thing up and uh, start rolling. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just go around the block just to blow some dust off, kind of charge the battery a little bit, but other than that, man, we should be cold foe.
I said I, I haven't been driving the Impala because that exhaust was hanging but I did actually put it back up into the um, exhaust hanger or whatnot so it shouldn't be like an issue or anything you know what I'm saying um, and then also to uh, oh wow yeah I'm sorry I got distracted by this airplane and kind of low but I've been working on this Monte Carlo man like I said like you know I told y'all like I've been really grinding on this Monte Carlo trying to get it all together um, but you know once once I'm done with you know the Monte Carlo I might need some transmission fluid in here or something but anyways once I'm done with the Monte Carlo man I, I do plan to uh, jump back up onto the Impala get it done because it's the closest one to being like yo out there on the road with the minimal uh, most minimal amount of work I should say you know what I'm saying everything else is kind of going to take a little bit more time and obviously you know we got some time because the summertime is you know what I'm saying like a few few months away so we do got some time but you know what I'm saying as you guys know I do want the Impala to be like my daily driver even though I don't really drive that much um I do want it to be like something I can just hop in and just go wherever I want to go whenever I want to go and just you know what I'm saying kick it kick it like that you feel me but uh like the way that's you know what i'm saying maybe it's just the road but you know what i'm saying kick it how we you know what i'm saying whoa 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 go ahead and hit that stop sign brother uh but anyways i want to be able to drive the car however i want to drive the car without having no issues no hassle nothing like that um not worrying about if it's going you know what i'm saying be reliable enough for me to make it somewhere um so pretty much that's that's kind of how like i wanted to to uh how I'm trying to you know keep it or whatever and so like I said man I'm trying to drive the car a little bit more trying to get it out of the garage instead of just hanging out in the garage all the time man you know we build these things so we can drive them not necessarily just sit around you know what I'm saying so uh let me pull up at this like location or whatever and I might hop out and see if I can get some type of footage of the car outside of the uh outside of the car it's gonna be like I said, kind of difficult because of you know what I'm saying the wind. But we'll see what we can get. We'll see what we, what happens, and then after that, um, yeah, man, we'll go back to the crib, and, and that'll be that. Like I said, y'all, the wind is crazy, so I ain't gonna be out here too long. And I'm hoping that it's not picking too much uh, the wind noise up, because yo. Look how gorgeous she look, man. At least to me, you know what I'm saying? It's my car, I built it, whatever. But like I said, hopefully I'm not picking up too much wind noise, y'all. She's absolutely filthy, you can tell. said i was just trying to blow some dust off the impala and talk about the impala for a little bit the car rides really smooth really good it has a little bounce to it um, we could adjust that a little bit more uh, when i go bigger on the size of the wheels and when i get the alignment and everything else dialed in because the way it sits now it sits really 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 low um and so once i get bigger wheels and i uh make it a little bit taller or increase the height on the car a little bit um, hopefully it should fix a little bit of that. Um, the angle of my control arms is kind of wacky. So, you know 
know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But anyways, man, like I said, I just was trying to get in the Impala, drive it for a little bit, um, charge the alternator up a little bit because I've been having it on the battery, battery tender and I need to put the Monte Carlo on the battery tender. So, um, yeah, I'm not trying to neglect the Impala or nothing like that. So for all my B-Body subscribers, man, um, everybody that's here for the Impala, it's just been uh, hectic trying to get this Monte Carlo done um, for what I got, what I need to get done on the car to make it run and drive and get it to where it needs to be. You know what I'm saying? So um, we haven't neglected the other cars. We're just not there yet. Um, like I said, there's only a couple of things that need to be done to the Impala. That's why I kind of been dragging my feet a little bit, but I'm now um, getting closer to being able to get those things taken care of. Once the weather warms up a little bit more, um, and I have more time or I can spend more time in the garage, I'll start getting those things taken care of. And then, like I said, the Impala will be more like a daily, you know what I'm saying? Um, it'll be more like a daily driver, something that I can hop in, turn the key on and just go and ride out. You know what I mean? Uh, we are going to switch up the wheels. I have selected the wheels. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get the wheels just because of the simple fact that uh i want to finish this ls motor i need to get it done um it's just been me and my dad's availability has not been matching up or lining up and he wants to help me build the motor um i could come out here and you know put all the parts that i have on the motor right now um and get it done but my dad wants to help me build it too so um, we're going to do that together whenever our time lines up we can get it done and then once we build the motor i could just start stacking stuff on top of it source of transmission and that'll go into the Monte Carlo. And then once I'm done with that, um, I can go ahead and uh, figure out the, the wheel situation for the, uh, well, I, f I had to figure out both wheel situations because she can't ride on these. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out, man. Just talking, that'll be down the road. Um, and these wheels will go on my truck. So uh, yeah, a lot of things are gonna be happening here in the near future, man. I'm trying to get everything ready for the summertime. I don't want nothing sitting in the garage for the summertime. I don't want to be taking videos and all that kind of stuff with the cars just sitting in the garage. I want them out and about and, you know what I'm saying, us just enjoying them. The Impala's purpose is more so like a daily driver, like I'm going to hop in and roll. The Elko and the Monte Carlo are more so like car show type cars or like, you know what I'm saying, on a Sunday fun day type, type of tip or, you know, we just cruising around. We just going to cruise around in the Impala too. But the dope thing about it is, now that we have the Monte Carlo, um, my daughters can ride in either one, you know what I'm saying, in the Monte Carlo or the Impala, you know what I'm saying, and we could just go out and have fun together. So anyways, man, like I said, uh, I just wanted to chop it, uh, chop it with y'all about the, the Impala. We have not forgot about it. It's collecting dust, I know, but you know what I'm saying, I'm only one man. I can only do so much. And I'm trying my best as the weather gets really, really cold to do whatever I can as much as I can. You know what I'm saying? It's really hard to be in this garage. I don't know if you guys can see the smoke coming out of my mouth or whatever, but it's cold out here, y'all. And the wind is not making it better. So, and it's only going to get colder this weekend. Like I said, we're going to be in single digits. So there's absolutely no working on the cars this weekend. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be in the crib chilling because I hate the cold. Um, and that's just what it is, y'all. But anyways, man, if you enjoyed this video, hit the, that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time I drive another video. Always remember, work hard so you live free.